Hi, this is Gina from the Lifestyle and DIY blog, GinaMichelle.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make twine from your fabric scraps. Anyone who sews knows that you end up with a ton of fabric scraps, and this is a way to turn them into something that's really beautiful and useful. Gather your fabric strips. Anything that's cotton with no stretch will work the best. And you want one inch strips, so make a little cut at the front and then just tear it across. This rips the fabric across the selvage and it gives you a perfect line. The fabric can be any length that you want. Just keep in mind that the shorter the fabric, the more joins you're going to have to have with your twine. Use a different mix of colors and prints because this will make your twine really beautiful and interesting. Take the strip that's furthest away from you and start twisting it away from your body. Then put it over the other strip, bring that one to the back and start twisting that away from your body and then cross it over. And you just repeat this motion. It's twist away from you and then cross over forward and then repeat. Make sure you're winding your fabric tight so then this way it will stay together. Once you get used to this motion, it becomes very easy. Um, and you can do this in front of the TV. It's a great way to occupy your hands. Once the fabric is winded together, it's actually quite strong. You can pull on it and it doesn't come unraveled or start untwisting. So now you can see that we're getting to the end of the fabric and you're going to add a new piece. This is called a join and you want to make sure that you don't have two pieces that are ending exactly in the same spot because this can weaken your twine. So to add another piece, you just take it and roll it up and then insert it inside of the other piece and roll that up. And then you just keep twisting it away from you and roll it over.
This is the joined area we just did, and as you can see, it's really strong. If there's any little threads that are sticking up out of the fabric, once you've made a join, you can just trim them. But just be careful not to cut through your twine. So I just wanted to show you an overhead view of winding the twine. It's the same thing the whole time. Wind away from you, move over. Wind away from you, move it over. And you just keep twisting. And here we're going to add a new section of fabric to the shorter piece. And you just roll it up, lay it on top of the other one, and roll that up. If you have any threads that are getting caught up along the way, just trim them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think you'll find that winding this twine is very addictive and it's a great way to use up your fabric stash. Thanks for watching.